What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll show you how you can skin Stable Diffusion Web UI from Automatic 11.11 and probably any other spin-offs or different versions of it. Everyone's well used to this here. This is how it usually looks. Standard colors, standard everything, minus the extra tabs and everything else added by extensions I have installed. Now, when it comes to theming this and changing the way that it looks, there's not much you can do without the help of extensions. There's two of them that I know of, and I'll be showing you them here. The first is Cat Pachin, or however you say it, for Stable Diffusion Web UI that gives you four different flavors here. We have Mocha, which is dark, Macchiato, slightly brighter, Frappe, and Latte. However, this is just one theme, and that's about it. You can maybe customize it in the flavors folder here, editing these different bits of CSS as you see fit, should you like the way that this looks. A more general theming extension, SD Web UI Quick CSS. Essentially, this is a plugin that allows you to quickly focus on creating CSS rather than managing how it works with Stable Diffusion Web UI. We can import style sheets, swap sheets, logos, fav icons, and a bunch of other tools for CSS stylers here. In the style choices folder here, we can see the current themes that are included, which include Matrix, Alani, and Neon. You'll find these linked in the description down below. Installing them is very simple. On the automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI, head across to the Extensions tab when you have it running. In here, head to Available and click Load From. Now, when it has loaded, you should be able to search for CSS, where you'll find Quick CSS here. You can install this and wait for this to finish loading. Once it's done, you can head to installed where you should see it appear in the list over here. For example, simply click apply and restart. And when it's done reloading, you should now see a CSS app tab at the very top. We can choose from one of the styles here, choose a background image, logo, fav icon, and effects here. So for example, style, I can choose the metric style and apply it. After applying changes by reloading the UI, you'll see a completely different themed screen. For example, everything is green, the font is changed, etc. I'm not a huge fan of this font, so I'll head back to this tab. We can change how things look, and in the Sum Instructions tab up here, we can read a bit about this. Anyways, I'll be changing my style to maybe Neon, Apply Style, Apply Changes, and now we have something that looks different. Once again, I'm not a huge fan of this font, but anyways, it's a different theme. Everything's more squared off. On the CSS app tab, we can change colors, and of course, things like the background. So for example, I'll choose this background here, the logo, I'll choose the neon one, fav icon, I'll choose neon once more, effects, I'll select maybe matrix FX, apply style, apply logo, apply fav icon. However, we need to do some manual editing to get this to work properly, activate selected script, and apply reload UI in just a moment. Down here, you can see previews of the different icons. Anyways, apply and reload UI. Now, everything should be working. I'm not seeing the background image. Maybe it's a gradient or something. But anyways, regardless, this is a plugin that should make it easier to style Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11. However, I'm just not a huge fan of this. I much prefer the Cat Pachin, however you say it, styles, and if this were built in, I'd probably go with it. But for now, it's in a separate extension. So I'll go ahead and disable this simply by unticking it, apply and restart. After a quick restart, I'll head to the extensions tab, available, load from, searching for theme, shows us different themes, for example, I think kitchen theme might be one. Let's open that up. That it is. This is what it looks like here. A bit too cluttered for me. Anyways, I'll install the Cat Pachin theme, installed, apply and restart UI, and now we should already see a difference. It's changed the color palette to something I find a lot better, and that's really it. Now, if you're not a huge fan of these colors, you can head to the settings tab at the very top, then on the left, Cat Pachin theme, and we have a few options here. We can choose between the flavor and accent color here, for example. Maybe more of a red, although it's a very slight difference. Apply change, a reload UI, and you can see things are a bit more red, but it's still very 
pink. Cappuccine theme, maybe blue, and we'll go for macchiato, a slightly lighter theme. Apply and reload, and now everything looks a bit more blue and a bit lighter. Anyways, it's very customizable, but of course, there are different plugins that'll accomplish something similar. It's somewhat customizable, obviously, if you like this theme, but there are a few different theme plugins. I've shown you two of them, and even a third now. Obviously, if you're going to install multiple plugins, disable the other ones before you try a new one. And of course, if you choose to use the quick CSS plugin instead, you can drop your own style sheet in there and they try to make it as easy as possible to create your own themes, etc. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. So thank you all for watching. Mine's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!